McDaniel on the drive. No foul. Foul is coming up on, is it Weddington or Pippen? Luke Longley uh, picks it up. All right, Friday night coming up, 6.30. Don't forget, join us for the Magic and Bulls. Michael comes home to the United Center. His first game in the United Center. 6.30, our coverage begins with a pregame show on WGN. Luke Longley with yep. five personal fouls. Comes Michael himself. Jordan, back into the game. Tony comes for who, Pip? Yep. The log on Michael Sunday to tonight. What a difference a few days makes. McDaniel with his second of the line. He has 11 points here tonight. That's their first point. Uh, well, it's third point in this quarter. Yeah, X has all three of their points. We're almost five minutes into the fourth quarter. Jordan. Good look to Luke Longley. He was fouled from behind. It was McDaniel on the back. Luke looked for that and tried to finish it. So he'll go to the line. So slow fourth quarter here. Take a look at it. MJ goes by his man, picks up all kinds of shirts there, and then reaching from the back. Was that uh, on? That was on Xavier, Xavier McDaniel. McDaniel his third, yeah. Four on the team. Longley converts at the line on his first. Luke with eight points and three rebounds. Ten. Ten now for Longley. As he makes good on a pair at the line. Sherman Douglas. Here's McDaniel. Douglas from the outside. Longley the rebound. Bulls basketball. Under seven minutes to go for the game. Luke. Somebody. Seven to go on the shot clock. Weddington yeah. right there. Yeah, they got some weapons now firing at you. I tell you what, you know, with the way they move the ball, if any one of those guys gets an open shot, yeah, they're going to bury it. That's the first uh, basket of the quarter for the Bulls here. Comes with 625, 620. D. Brown throws it away. He wanted to hit Xavier McDaniel. Jordan leading the break. Her at the arc. Michael gets a screen from Longley. Now, oh, door wide yes, open. sir. A beautiful play by Jordan. Longley rolling through. He's got 11 points, and he'll take a timeout. Largest lead of the night, 20 points for Michael Jordan and the Bulls, and this is what Michael can create. A bullet feed to Longley. The deposit, 108 points for the Bulls. I think the Whopper just beat the Big Mac two to one in the taste test. We'll think about it. The Whopper is one big juicy flame broiled burger complemented by the perfect size bun. The Big Mac, on the other hand, is stacked bread with two smaller fried burgers in between. <laughs> bun, burger, bun, burger, bun. Say that three times fast. Better yet, don't. You might sprain your tongue. And then how would you eat your Whopper? The burger that beat the Big Mac. The Whopper value meal for $2.99 at Burger King. Hello, I'm Martin Mall for Red Roof Ends, and here to announce Operation Pushpin. You've made us one of the most popular economy motel chains, so we're expanding. Putting more clean, comfortable in across the nation. So wherever you see one of these... Uh-oh. Call 1-800-THE-ROOF for reservations and new locations. Sorry. This is Red Dog Beer. Red Dog. It's not ice brewed, fire brewed, dry brewed, or this or that. It's just genuinely good beer. Okay, there is one thing unusual about Red Dog. It's unusually easy to drink. Because it's bold yet smooth. Because it's made with the finest natural ingredients. Are you gonna like Red Dog? Yeah, we think so. But hey, 
It's your call. <laughs> Last game in Boston Garden, Michael Jordan and Larry Bird on the court at the same time. It was back and forth all night between the two superstars. Bird hit the jumper at one end. Jordan jams on the other. Larry Bird scored 30 points on this night. He was masterful. But the game belonged to Michael. He scored 44. The Bulls won the last game on the parquet floor with Jordan and Bird together, 132-113. Back live, Derek Strong out on the floor. Nothing but net. He has 10 off the bench for Boston. Five and a half to go in this one. Jordan got fouled by Jay Humphreys, who reached in on the play. First on Jay. 15 fouls, so Michael will shoot two free throws. That's the way he can create. And he was looking for B, uh, looking for Steve Kerr standing in there on the outside, but they reached in and fouled him. You know, Red, you pointed out a moment ago that Bill Wennington, who's in there right now, is on the front line along with Longley and Kukoc, is playing the power forward position. And as we've said many times this season, and even here tonight, uh, the Bulls are looking for someone to emerge in that position. Look at this. Talk about power forward. Larry Kriskoviak comes into the ball game, replacing Luke Longley. That will shift Wennington from the four to the five spot. But how much out of position does Bill Wennington appear to be at the four spot rather than the center position to you, from no. what you can tell? He seems to be just fine in there. They haven't used him a lot. Uh, he hasn't gotten a lot of looks. It, it at slows that the time. team down with he and Luke or he and Will in the game. You know, any one of the two centers, and it slows it a little bit. But uh, strong to McDaniel and Montross the finish. Eight for Eric Montross. Well, it'll be real interesting, and, and all of us are hopeful Larry Kriskoviak can stay healthy and get his team together to get the Bulls a boost at that all-important power forward position because in the playoffs, that's a nice pass to Jordan. Wennington was denied by Derek Strong and Xavier McDaniel. That power forward position is very important come playoff time. McDaniel left it short, knocked out of bounds by the Bulls. That's the position, and this guy can strum out a basketball on the glass. That's the position where you get those tough offensive rebounds, second chance points in the playoffs. D. Brown off the mark. Derek Strong collects. The Bulls had been dominating the boards. The Celtics in the second half doing a little bit better job. But this is garbage time for the most part. Foul is on Michael. That's his fourth, and uh, I don't know if he was going through the hoop. I think he takes it out on the side. It's only the third team foul. <laughs> I mentioned the Celtics had done a good job of getting back on the on the boards, and Derek Strong has led the way with 15 rebounds in the game. Brown finds McDaniel. 14 for X. 110 to 94. 16-point lead Bulls coming up on four minutes left to go. Wennington a high screen. Two coaches held by McDaniel. Scotty Pippen's contribution tonight. 14 points in the first half. 18 overall. Eight rebounds, four assists. Excellent floor game again by Scotty Pippen. McDaniel has four personal fouls, and that is precipitating these free throws by Tony Kukoc. And here comes Ron Harper up off the bench. He got just a minute of the game at Indianapolis on Sunday. This is the way the Knicks play uh, generally in that last quarter. Put you to the free throw line. Well, Bulls have shot nine free throws in his quarter. Not too many baskets, but they've still been able to pull a strangle, uh, strangle or pull on that 15-point lead. They've only missed one of their free throws here in the fourth quarter. Make that two that they've missed here in the fourth. 16 for Tony Kukoc. Humphrey's pass batted by Harper and then tipped out of bounds by Ron Harper right through the legs of Montross. Jordan, Harper out on the floor at the guard line. Two coach Wennington and Chris Kobiak up front for the Bulls. McDaniel in traffic down low. Harper knocks it out of bounds. Eight to go on the shot clock for the Celtics. O.D. Brown was all alone. And Harper got a piece yep. of it to pick up the foul. 
his first. That's the fourth on the team. Don't forget to sign up for the Miller Genuine Draft Shoot the Bowl 3-on-3 Classic coming this summer to Chicago's Grand Park, July 28th through 30th. Sponsored in part by the Chicago Tribune, Coca-Cola, Sport Mart, and Salem Sportswear. Call 312-455-4000 for more information. Two coming up for Dee Brown, and he nets the first. Brown 85% from the free throw line. Bill Jackson has to like what he has seen offensively from his ball club here tonight. Yeah, it didn't slow him down by Michael uh, taking a majority of the shots either, you know. Not at all. 11 for Dee Brown. Boston beginning to crowd the century mark. Bulls were in triple digits in the third quarter. Jordan for three. <laughs> Daniel throws it away to Kukoc. Tony. Mike's winning. Oh, yeah. Jordan and a foul. Big Bill. Six for Wennington. And let's pause here for station identification. This is America's number one sports station. WGN-TV, Chicago. Dee Brown's fifth personal foul gives Bill Wennington a shot at the three-point play. He converts. He has seven points here tonight. Chicago's lead, 115-96. Jay Humphrey sets it up. Here's Dee Brown guarded by Jordan. Good. Bullet feed into McDaniel. Nice look to Montcross, who was fouled on the drive. Fouls on Chris Kobiak, his first and the fifth on the team. Oh, making Kukoc on the foul and not on Larry Chris Kobiak. Four on Tony Kukoc. Eric Montcross ahead to the free throw line. Montross, in fact, is 10th in the NBA in field goal percentage at 54%, but he only shoots 64% from the free throw line. Montross makes good on his first. He has nine points. Don't forget, coming up Friday night from the United Center, 6.30 with the pregame. Bulls and the Magic. Michael comes home to Chicago. Got a timeout on the floor. Three minutes straight up to go in the basketball game. Bill Jackson to the Bulls, leading 115-97. What do you give for a 10th anniversary? Well, Southwest Airlines is celebrating our 10th anniversary at Midway Airport, and we're giving you lower fares. Just $39 to 10 nonstop cities. Places like St. Louis, Baltimore, Detroit, Cleveland, to name a few. Just buy your tickets by March 28th and travel by September 7th. So what do you give an airline on a 10th anniversary? How about a ring? Southwest, the low fare airline. How you doing? Name's Red Dog. Red Dog. Now I see a lot of you dogs out there yipping and yapping, chasing after anything that moves. Well, you know, sometimes you ought to lay low. And even when someone's trying to yank your chain, just let it ride. Red Dog. Be your own. Dog. So that when something good hey, baby. does come your way. Red dog beer. Bold yet smooth. Easy to drink. <laughs> you can make the most of it. Win for life from the Illinois Lottery is back. And now you can win $2,000. Every week. For the rest of your life. That's $2,000. Every, every single, single week. Every year. For life. Imagine that. No wonder everyone wanted win for life back. Play win for life. One ticket, two dollars, and win up to six times with a top prize of two thousand dollars a week for life. Got a second? Play this instant. AT&T long distance play of the game. Michael Jordan dialed it early. This is his second field goal attempt of the game. Four three, and ring it up for AT&T. Second free throw is good at the line. Montrose with uh, 10 points. That's both of them. Harper. Bill Wennington sets it up to Pete Myers. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock for the Bulls. Ron Harper off the screen by Corey Blunt. Derek Strong, another rebound. Derek. 
16 caroms for Strong. Ties his career high. McDaniel was pushed by Corey Blunt. On Corey, that is his third personal foul. Well, much of this capacity crowd here at the Boston Garden is headed off, as you can see. And as my partner John Kerr mentioned to me between the, during the break, they let the air out of the building. And there is his airness. <laughs> he sat down on the bench. They saw what they thought they'd come to see. <laughs> yes, and, they did. Uh, they had a nice halftime ceremony, and they went home and said, that's enough fun for us. X missing his first of the line. Second up coming for McDaniel, 14 points for McDaniel. I remember the year he led the NCAA in scoring and rebound. Both of the same season as senior year at Wichita State. He was a great college player. Reader. Harper plays ahead to Kraskovia. Pete Myers sets it up, coming up on two minutes left to go. Harper driving baseline. Nice dish to Corey Blunt. Four for Corey. 117 99 Bulls. This is D. Brown. X out on the floor. McDaniel connects. Celtics have finally gotten over the 100 point mark. 17 for McDaniel. Wennington. McDaniel the rebound. Here's D. Brown. Bulls by 16. Minute 30 to go. McDaniel again. Some fun there, isn't he? 19 now for Xavier McDaniel. 10 in his quarter. Not too late. So Don't like forget, we're looking forward to Friday night's game against the Orlando Magic at the United Center. 6.30 start at WGN with our pregame activity. Good to see Larry Kriskoviak back. He's had arthroscopic knee surgery and appendicitis both in the same season to flick him. And He's hoping to put together a good stretch run and help the Bulls big time in the playoffs. A.C. Earl, the former Iowa star. A.C. has really struggled at the end of the Boston bench this season, and this is second year. Pete Myers, good look from Wennington. Bulls having some fun here, aren't they now? 121 to 103, 18 point lead. That's D. Brown. Quiet tonight, 13 points. Final minute. Bulls uh, will win their ninth in 12 games. Here's Myers. Corey Blunt. Harper at the arc. For oh. three. Remember, Harp's big three three-point field goals in a game against Milwaukee to bring the Bulls back from 15 down. Humphrey steps inside of Harper and collects for two. Under 30 seconds to go. Two-second difference. Shot clock to game clock. 124-107. Harper. Ron Harper, another three. This one up over the backboard. 5.1 seconds to go for the game. There's Larry Bird. One of the all-time greats here in Boston and his running mate on the Olympic team, Michael Jordan. You can give the final score if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> no cigar for Red R back here tonight. Time expires. An impressive performance by the Chicago Bulls. And impressive in particular by Michael Jordan. And let's send it over. Get if there. we can for Bring him here. Bring him here. No. Here I come, here I come. Back down Michael, Michael Jordan, Michael. and I don't think he's going to be able to I do that. As Jordan heads to the locker room, the final score, the Chicago Bulls, 124, the Boston Celtics, 107. WGN News is straight ahead. You've just watched the Bulls beat the Celtics, but the fun's not over yet. We'll be going right back out live to Boston. Plus, it's hip, it's hops, it's the new red-hot brew being guzzled.